Hello and greetings from Jerusalem. My name is Joan Lippis or hashtag Joni in Jerusalem. Here to welcome you to Lunchtime Prayer for Israel. Lunchtime Prayer for Israel is part of the ministry of Novea Ministries. On Rosh Hodesh, head of the month, we always do our category, Praise the Lord or Praise God. Well, it's always a good time to praise the Lord, so that's what we're going to do today. Now, the worship, the worship of Israel always included the remembrance of God's mighty acts of deliverance and His faithful love. Now, when we remember God's mighty acts of deliverance, we go back to Egypt and then move forward, of course, to the cross and on to His promised future. So, when the world is crumbling around us and we see only confusion, danger, and darkness, we need to remember who God is and what He has done. And then praise will soon flow out of our hearts. So, starting Psalm 75, verse 1, We give thanks to you, O God, we give thanks for your wondrous works declare that your name is near. The time of God's judgment is also near, but thankfully he is a righteous judge. Therefore, only the wicked, the unrepentant, the rebellious need to be afraid. So next we read from Psalm 75, verses 8 through 10. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is fully mixed, and he pours it out. Surely its dregs shall all the wicked of the earth drain and drink down. But I will declare forever, I will sing the praises of the God of Jacob. And now we hear God speaking. All the horns of the wicked I will also cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Now, in Hebrew Bible, horns signifies strength. So God is saying, God the righteous judge, the strength of the wicked will vanish, as will the wicked themselves, but not the strength of the righteous. And that's righteous by God's standards, not by ours. So we do want to praise God. We want to praise God who is the perfect, righteous judge. He judges correctly. Hmm. And that's why he has provided an atonement for our sins. So our names can be written in the book of life. Atonement by God's grace through faith in Yeshua. So with that, I say, Lehitraot. Shalom from Jerusalem.